This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, the hypotenuse of a right triangle has a length of 12 units and a side that is eight units long. Which equation can be used to find the length of the remaining side? So if it's helpful in this case, you may wanna make a quick sketch of a right triangle. Again, as a reminder on the actual ASVAB and PICAT, you will have scratch paper, but you won't have a reference sheet or a calculator. The hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle. And according to the problem, the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 12. Likewise, we're told one of its legs is eight and we wanna find its remaining side. I'm gonna call its remaining side, the unknown value X. Well, how do you find a missing value in a right triangle? You use Pythagorean's theorem, which says A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. This is a formula you need to know for the ASVAB and PICAT, so commit it to memory. A and B are the legs of the right triangle and C is the hypotenuse. So C in this case is 12. I'm going to let A be 8 and B be X. So let's just go ahead and plug these values into the Pythagorean theorem. This becomes 8 squared plus, again, I let B be X. So this is X squared equals uh, 12 squared. Again, we want to solve this equation for the missing side, which is X. So I'm going to subtract 8 squared from both sides of the equation. This crosses out, leaving me with x squared equals 12 squared minus 8 squared. And uh, this problem is a little bit easy in that we don't have to keep working this out. Uh, we can actually see that this is answer choice B. And just like that, we are done. If we were to keep solving this one, we would find this remaining side. But in this case, they're just testing your knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem and your ability to rearrange it such that you can solve for one of the sides.